Hey there, Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Um, today we've got another episode of our Quarantine Cantina. Um, not, we're not actually going to be cooking anything today. Uh, we're going to talk about some temperatures, times, things like that, things uh, for safety issues. Um, let's roll right into it. We've got some couple different thermometers. We're going to get them, show you how to get them calibrated. We're going to talk about where to cook everything to keep you all safe. Um, we're here in Florida, so we're working off the uh, Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, Department of uh, Business Professional Regulation, our health department, basically. And we're going to go with those guidelines. We'll touch on some of the differences with the FDA and USDA stuff after that, but we're just going to roll right through with that. Um, we've got some thermometers. Check your thermometers. That's really sort of important to start with. Um, best way to check it, the easiest, is get yourself a little... A little glass of some ice water. You know where that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be right at 32. Uh, digital thermometers, they should calibrate themselves. So we're just going to click that on. Room temp, I'm going to pop it down in there. You know, so you got a couple different digital ones, all different types and whatnot. Um, here's one of the old school ones. I like these as well. Beautiful part about these is you can calibrate them. They got a little nut on the bottom where you can grab hold and I'll show you where we're at. So we'll get those going. We don't want to drop it all the way down in there. Give that a minute or so to come to temp and see where we're at. And if, you, if you're getting pretty close, you're good to go. This one's reading, pop it back in there. It comes right out and just pretty quick. There we go, 32.3. That's acceptable. 32.2, beautiful. And this one's reading at 35. That's not gonna work for us. So, like I said, these are really easy to adjust and all we're gonna do is gonna take that, grab hold, adjust it, pop it back down in there. Maybe just a little bit more. Beautiful. All right. Now, where to cook stuff? You want to cook um, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Needs to hold for at least one second, and that's going to be for your poultry. Any kind of stuffings, dealing with uh, meats, fish, or poultry as well. Any stuffed foods, wild games, any reheated foods, and any foods that you microwave, either reheated or from raw. 165 degrees. 155 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to need to, that's going to need to hold for at least 17 seconds. And that's going to be for your ground and injected and tenderized meats. Stuff like sausages, hamburgers, and whatnot. Um, say if you got some egg dishes that you want to prepare ahead of time, quiches, frittatas, things like that. Those are also going to be 155. Um, getting a little crazy. How about some ostrich or emu or any of those types of meats? Again, 155. The next group down, 145, and these are going to be for your whole muscle groups. Uh, beef, pork, lamb, veal, fish, goat, any of the seafoods. Um, also eggs for your immediate use. You're doing your poached eggs, you're doing scrambled eggs, whatnot. There you go. That's the guideline for that. This doesn't happen a lot, but for in restaurants and whatnot, you'll need this. 135 degrees is the lower threshold for your uh, fruits, vegetables, grains for your holding, for hot holding. So 135 or above. Um, also, if you're doing commercially packaged reheating of foods, any, any reheating of foods that are commercially packaged and you want to hold them, your frozen lasagnas or whatever you've got there, hold those at 135 and above. Now that temperature between 135 and 41, we like to call the danger zone. You want to get foods in and out of that as quickly as possible. So that's not where you want anything. All your cold foods holding at one at uh, 41 degrees or below. Now the only exception to this is going to be some of your roasts, your pork and your beef roast. And there's a sliding scale for that. So like say you could hold a prime rib at 130 degrees, but it's going to need to be hold, you know, at least for 112 minutes. As you go up, the, the time drops considerably. So like say 130, 130 degrees, you're going to want 112, 12 minutes, 135, 36 minutes, 140, 12 minutes, and then you're back up to your 145 and it only needs your 15 seconds. Um, the only differences here with the FDA are going to be like, say, 
FDA, instead of 165, they're going to say 160 for your uh, beef, pork, or lamb. Your poultry is still 165. And then the FDA has, instead of 145, their guidelines for the eggs. They want the yolk and the white to be set and firm. Anyway, Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering. Here's some times and temperatures. Hope that helps. Let me know if there's anything you want to see or anything we want to do. And again, thanks for watching. Stay safe and happy. And uh, thank you.